Okay, I'm gonna talk about chargers. We've got three new models of chargers in. With the growing size of the electric unicycles on the market, um, you, the, the charge times are going up massively. This one by standard is minimum of 19 hours to charge, um, zero to 100. That's just worked out based on number of watts outputs uh, at the number of amps. Uh, it does actually take in real life a little bit longer because there's a tail off and et cetera. It's not linear the way things charge. Um, so 19 hours minimum to charge that. That poses quite a problem. I mean, it's got a range of 50 miles, which is excellent, but to charge, you know, wait, 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 you do 50 miles a day, you can wait almost another day to be able to use it. So, and in collaboration with doing our 1,000 mile for charity, and that's 1,000 miles back to back, so it's gonna be 100 mile days for 10 days, um, we had to come up with a solution. Now this forced us down a route of looking into faster charging options. So we had the other option which we did last year with the 200 mile, which is to carry extra batteries with you and then swap them over when you need to have a full charge again. Now this is crazily time consuming. And secondly, the weight is horrendous. Um, so with these uh, three and a half kilograms per battery, three batteries in it, you don't wanna be carrying three of those batteries in your backpack um, because you stood for around about 10 hours a day with it on. Um, and so the fatigue is enormous. So, came up with a plan, which initially didn't work. We came up with another plan. And here is your options, and I'm gonna show you this, and I'll show you some close-ups in a minute when I start actually talking about them in depth. A very simple way for you guys to get a faster charge time is to get one of these from us. Um, and what it is, is, and this only applies, we're only doing this for the bigger versions, basically. Um, with exception to the nine watt, we have got a nine watt charger here, which is twice as powerful as the original uh, charger. So ha half the charge time, pretty much. So these are 84 volts as well. So we only, with the Gotway range, excluding nine watt, we, we only do it with the 84 volt um, ones. They tend to be typically bigger capacity going forward as the 84 volt system is what they're using. So this is sort of future proofing it really. Um, so four pin, ports on them. You can get one of these, which is a double adapter into one. So it's real simple, you just plug that straight into your charging port, no modification needed at all, and it outputs to two. And what you could do is buy yourself another standard charger. A standard charger comes with the Gotway, uh, the Monster, it is a 1.5 amp charger. So you could make that a three amp charger by buying another standard charging unit. No modifications needed. You literally just plug both those chargers into that it charges it twice the speed. So you bring it down from 19 hours. Um, so I would go with that if I was you. Um, if, if you want a cheaper solution, but it's still, for us, that was nowhere near fast enough. Uh, we can't sit around for nine and a half hours waiting for the charge, then continue. So we're doing 100 miles a day. This will do, it'll do more than 50, but say it does 50 at worst, if you're going up a lot of hills or something, it's cold weather, 50 miles, and then you can't charge, stop, sit down for nine and a half hours, waiting for the charge, and off you go again for the remaining 50. So that was a good solution. Another thing you can do to this is what I've done here is I've fitted, and I'll show you a close up right now, I've fitted three charge ports to it. So the standard charge port, and then one in this little cutaway here, and it's the best place to fit it. There's a gap behind for the cables to fit for a start, and you're only damaging essentially the, those tiny little panels which you can get replaced for it fairly easily. Um, and that gives you, and they need rubber covers on them by the way, so don't take it as uh, gospel as to take or to use it. That's three charge ports. So what that means then you can buy three of these, and that way you can have six chargers straight into your unit. Charging then becomes six times faster. Now that is, I gotta admit, is very niche. And there's not many people that are gonna wanna be able to do that, and the cost is quite prohibitive. Um, so that's one thing you gotta consider you'll be leading up to, uh, it's completely off the top of my head, about 300 pounds to, to have that configuration, which is quite substantial. But it depends on what your use is, to be fair. For us, uh, spending that sort of money to try and get these so we can actually do 100 miles a day, every day, for 10 days, is critical. It is mission critical, literally. Um, the only other way of doing it is by having, by traveling for 24 hours and incorporating a nine and a half hour stop. Um, so, which isn't workable. So that's one way you can do it. Um, and what this means is you basically, because there's three batteries in that one, each battery can accept its own single charge port. Hello. 
Um, and so that allows you to unplug the charging loom that you've got and plug in individual charge ports into the batteries, which is brilliant. So there's a little customized system that you can get, um, which is relatively cheap uh, and easy to do without any modification apart from drilling through there and disconnecting the original loom from the battery. Just one connector on each battery, plugging it in, and you're good to go. Somebody can do it at home. With those, moving on, we do two versions. So we do a five amp charger. So it's a single charger, it's five amp, and you can plug that direct into your way, your 84 volt. So I'll show you what it comes in. So it comes with a UK kettle lead. Now, this is all it comes with. You can get your own for your own country if you're, we have a lot of customers that are Europe and the US, etc., around the world customers. You can get one yourself. Um, an EL701A is written on the side of this. It's a kettle lead, is what we would call a kettle lead, essentially. I think it's called an IEC style fitting. But it's obviously three pins. So that, that is a, a cheap part of it. Yeah, for a couple of dollars, you can get your own one of those if you're not in the UK. The charger itself comes in a box. It comes with a spare fuse, or fuses, depending. And this is the unit. It's very, very, very compact. It's an aluminium casing. It's fan cooled, and it has the fitting ready to go straight into your gotway, fitted to it, and it's five amps. So if you think about it, the standard charger is 1.5 amps. This is, I think, works out 3.33 times faster. So it's approximately three times faster. And you could just buy one of these, and they're around about, at the moment, the time of filming is I think about 150 pounds. Um, and you literally don't have to do any modification, you can have a single charge port, and you can plug in and be 3.3 times faster than your standard charger. So you can just buy that and plug it in. No modifications needed, completely safe, it's five amps. Um, that's something you can do if you want it. It's got a fuse on there as well. Um, we've been testing these, we've never had to actually replace that, but if you say you which you should never ever do. If you cover this in a blanket and it got over hot, um, it would burn fuse. So that literally just plugs in to that charge port. So it's the four pin version. You hear a crack there because this should be plugged into mains first. But you just plug it in and charge it up. Job done. So that is the five amp version. Again, to reiterate, you can just buy the five amp and you've got three times the speed of charging straight into your 84 volt system. If you're someone that does a lot of miles, or goes out on the weekends, like we, we used to frequently go on the weekends and you run out of uh, charge, you gotta leave it there for hours and hours and hours and you don't get to ride that day again, basically. So that completely solves that. Now remember the trick I told you about three charge ports on the Monster. So three batteries in the Monster, 800 watt batteries each, watt hour batteries each. You can then put three charge ports on. If you wanted to, you can get three charges. This is how I'm going on a thousand mile. I'm going with three of these in my backpack. John is doing it differently. He's not going to the expense of this. He's using six chargers um, in the system that I told you we built to start with, which is double ports, giving you uh, six outputs to connect six chargers to. That's what he's doing. Um, and I've rigged it up so they all go in a bag. So they're really neat. And all you do is pull out that one connector of each charge port. So when you pull out three connectors, slightly offline there, but he's using standards. I've gone with these. Um, three of these uh, will give me 3.33 times faster times three. So it's, uh, you're looking at a recharge time of around, I think it's three hours to charge that monster. Now then, if you're really keen on getting a quick charge, <laughs> you could go for our 10 amp. Now, 10 amp, you cannot fit this without modifying the wiring in the gotway. So it comes in purposely not wired in. As you can see from this close-up, you have to fit this charge port. So that is to remind you, you cannot just plug this straight in. The result of plugging this straight in, it will mount the cables in the charge port. Uh, they're too thin, they, are, they won't take that. They take, I think, about seven amps, six or seven amps max. Um, and this will obviously cook them. So this requires modification, but this is a 10 amp. So it's twice as powerful as the five amp I just showed you gives you a charge time with three of them, three hours. Um, this is mega. We're not gonna use this, it's quite big and heavy. Just for point of reference, this aluminium five amp one is twice the weight of a standard charger. So although I'm only carrying three, John's carrying six of the standard, actually the weight set is the same, apart from the, the uh, power cords, because I only need three, he's having six. Um, this one is aluminium. Again, that's twice the weight of that one. So that's, yes, even heavier, basically. 
and it's not something I'm going to carry. And I don't want to rewire and I don't want to stress any of the cabling out. Um, but it's safe to use this as long as you change the cables to match uh, the amperage requirement of this, which is an output of 10 amps. And it comes with a little handle. Uh, it's a great little unit. Both of those units are fan cooled, which is pretty cool. On to the 9 bot one. So, 9 bot one, one. So this is for the E+, Plus, not for the S2. It comes in a huge box like this. It comes in a very, very nice unit. And so this is twice the power. So you'll reduce your charging time by half. And it comes with a standard 9 bot E, E plus P fitting. Um, again, self-contained, not fan cool, doesn't need to be. It's got lovely fins on the outside of this. That will charge your 9 bot twice the speed. And a lot of you guys have been asking, how can I get back on the road again? I've done 12 miles. I want to get back out again and do another 12. That is the answer, unless you want to buy extra batteries. So I hope that helps you. Uh, the links for these are below in the description of this video, or if you're watching this video on our actual page, then you're on the page already. Um, I hope that's helped, and um, I really hope this is gonna give you guys some more choices and to be able to increase your riding times uh, and enjoy the longer, lighter weekends during this summer period, which is starting to come across now. Um, so that will open up a whole new level of riding you'll be able to do, be able to on the road for a lot longer out on the trails a lot longer. Um, there are expenses to obviously doing this. The unicycles themselves aren't cheap. Uh, I, I think they're worth their weight in gold, to be honest, in terms of being able to get back out there. And for our 1,000 miler, which is very often happens in sports and the such, when you start pushing the envelope of what you can actually do is when you find some solutions. Um, so we found a solution initially. The, ev the evolution of this is just use standard chargers. So you don't need to do anything particularly special. You just get standard chargers and stack them up and get double ports. Uh, sort of adapter for the port. You could, the uh, cheapest way probably would be to get the double adapter, which is that, and buy yourself another, because you already have one, another charger. And that will double your, your well, half, sorry, your uh, charge time. So that's probably the most efficient way of doing it and the cheapest way of doing it. Um, you could then just buy the five amp or the 10 amp, um, but the next easiest step would be just to buy the five amp charger and that will be 3.3 times, approximately 3.3 times quicker. Again, um, and you don't need a double port for that, so you don't need that, you just buy the five amp, plug it in, 3.3 times quicker. That what I think will probably be the most um, efficient and the cost effective way of doing it is by buying the five amp. Obviously your other charger becomes almost redundant at that point. You could then buy from us 84 volt charge ports and fit them like I showed you earlier onto the Monster. If you've got a Monster, or fit one more, because obviously in the 1600s, there's only two batteries. Uh, so you could fit, leave the standard one and then fit another one. One thing that's worth pointing out as well for you guys, if you're gonna be modifying them, is that if you, the in the throat, I'll take the Monster as an example. The initial, the, the single charge port that comes as standard splits off to the three batteries. So you've got one charge port with a loom, which goes to one battery, the other battery, and the other battery. Plug the charger in, it charges all three at the same time. If you fit the charging ports like I've done, you come along, you disconnect that loom from the batteries, leaving one of them connected, so the original charge port charges one of them, and then standalone charges, charge ports for the other two batteries. The interesting thing is, don't forget they're all linked together anyway, just directly to the control board with the XT60 connector. So when you charge one of those batteries, it actually balances out across all three because they are still intrinsically connected. So that's one thing to remember is the fact that if, even if, you, if you've got three charge ports, even if you just bring one charger and stick it into one of the charge ports, it will actually start charging all the packs because they're indirectly because it, it, they balance across the three. And we've extensively tested this because we did a test initially where we did just charge one battery to see how that would work out if all our charges went down. And what we actually found surprisingly was that it, because um, we didn't give it any thought, this was a surprise, it actually charged to 100% the whole unicycle did. So keep that in mind. Um, and it's also a positive thing. You know, if you do do this conversion to have three charge ports, you actually don't need to carry three around with you all the time. You can just carry one and it still charge at the same speed at five amps, obviously. Um, or you could go back to using a standard charger. It makes no difference having the three fitted. Make sure you get the rubber covers and the charge port if you're going to do it. Really hope this information has been helpful. I'm sure you've got loads of other ideas of how to do it. But this is, video is here basically to show you what can be done, what we're doing, and also what we're selling now. 
Um, these chargers, we, they were on our website, they went on yesterday. Since we've proven them, we've used them the last couple of weeks, um, and it's something we sell. Five amp, 10 amp. Splitter is not on the website yet, it will be shortly. The splitter will go on the website, and so, um, and charge ports are already on there, we use a standard replacement part anyway for anyone that damages theirs. Um, so, enjoy, and I hope it's helped.